hello viewers uh, welcome to my channel uh, today's topic is uh, patent ductus uh, artiosis you know uh, which is known as uh, uh, PDA you know but before starting this topic I would like to request you to like subscribe and share these videos to support this channel you know and uh, if you need more information about uh, any disease or any medical condition uh, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com you know uh, now uh, the topic is uh, like uh, PDA or uh, uh, patent ductus uh, enterosis you know? well it's a fairly common congenital heart defect you know and uh, it occurs when the temporary base uh, like uh, blood vessels uh, they are called ductus anteriosis you know that does not close soon after the birth and the symptoms may be a uh, minimal or they may be severe you know and uh, in rare cases the defect can go untreated because it's not detected you know and can exist in adulthood you know and uh, the correction of the defect is usually successful and uh, it restores the heart to its normal function you know and uh, uh, in a normally functioning heart the pulmonary artery carries the blood to the lungs to collect the oxygen you know and uh, then the oxygenated blood then travels through the artery which is uh, uh, the body's main artery to the rest of the body you know you know in the womb uh, the blood vessel called the ductus uh, arteriosus you know it connects the artery and the pulmonary artery okay and uh, it allows the blood to flow from the pulmonary artery uh, to the artery and out uh, to the body without going through the lungs you know so this is because the developing child gets oxygenated blood from mother and uh, not from their own lungs you know now you know uh, soon after the baby is born uh, the ductus uh, arteriosis should close up uh, to prevent mixing the oxygen poor blood from the pulmonary artery with the oxygen rich blood from the aorta you know so when this does not happen and the baby has the patent doctor's enterosis you know or pda and if a doctor never like detects the defect you know the baby may grow into an adult or with uh, this condition you know uh, although this is rare you know the next thing is what are the causes well you know it's a fairly common congenital defect and uh, but the doctors uh, are not sure exactly what causes the condition and the premature birth can put the babies at higher risk you know and it's more common in the girls than the boys but we don't know the reason you know why is this uh, the next thing is what are the symptoms well you know the opening in the doctors Enterosis can uh, range from small to large, you know. And uh, this means that the symptoms may be very mild or may be very severe, you know. And if the opening is very small, there may be no symptom. And your doctor may only find the condition by hearing a heart murmur, you know, or the heart sounds, you know. And the most commonly, uh, an infant or maybe child with this condition will have the symptoms like uh, it may have like uh, sweating you know uh, rapid and heavy breathing uh, fatigue poor weight gain and uh, very little interest in feeding you know and uh, in rare cases uh, this condition goes uh, undetected or untreated so an adult with the defect may experience the symptoms that include heart palpitations maybe shortness of breath and the complications like uh, high blood pressure in the lungs you know so pulmonary hypertension and enlarged heart 
or maybe congestive heart failure. You know. So these are the possible complications. Now, the next thing is how do doctors diagnose? Well, uh, mostly uh, your doctor will usually diagnose uh, it after listening to your child's heart, you know. Uh, most cases uh, of this condition cause the heart murmur, you know, which means uh, heart murmur means like uh, an extra or uh, unusual heartbeat, you know, like unusual sounds in the heartbeat, you know, uh, which a doctor can hear through the stethoscope, you know. And a chest x-ray may also be necessary to see the condition of the baby's heart and the lungs, you know. And the premature babies may not have the same symptoms as the full term births, you know, and they may require additional tests to confirm this condition. And the most common tests that your doctor will order are the like uh, echocardiogram, uh, maybe electrocardiogram, and uh, these are the two main tests which your doctor will order to and they are helpful to diagnose that condition you know now echocardiogram is a test uh, and its purpose is that uh, in fact this test is, in this uh, like uh, it uses the sound waves to create a picture of the baby's heart you know it's painless test and it helps the doctor to see the size of the heart and it also uh, help your doctor to see if there is any kind of abnormality in the blood flow, you know. And uh, it's the most common method to diagnose the uh, PDA, you know. And the other test is like electrocardiogram. So this is a test which is used to record the activity of the heart and detects any irregular heart rhythms, you know. In babies, this test can also identify the enlarged heart. So these are the tests your doctor will use, like uh, physical examination, where doctor will listen the heart, you know, and then the electrocardiogram and electro, uh, echocardiogram and electrocardiogram. Okay. So these are the uh, three or two tests which are used, most commonly used to uh, diagnose this condition. Now once diagnosed, then what are the treatment options for the patient doctor's uh, uh, arteriosis, you know? You know, in the patients where the opening is very small, uh, it may not need any treatment, you know. And uh, it can close as the infant gets older, you know. <coughs> but in cases where uh, your doctor will want to monitor the uh, condition as the baby grows, you know. And if it does not close on its own, and then the medications or the surgical repair may be needed to avoid any the serious complications, you know. And, uh, you know, in premature babies, uh, a drug called like uh, indomethacin, you know, is used. And uh, its function is that it helps to close the opening. And when given intravenously, this medication can help to constrict the muscles and close the ductus enteriosis, you know. And this type of treatment is typically only effective in newborns, you know. And uh, it's not uh, effective in older children or the infants, you know. And uh, in case where the child are uh, older, you know, uh, further treatment may be needed, you know. Now another treatment option is like uh, catheter-based procedures. Uh, like uh, in children and then infants, you know. The doctor recommend this uh, catheter device closure procedure, you know. In this procedure, uh, this is an outpatient procedure and does not involve opening the chest. So it's minimally invasive. And the catheter is a thin and flexible tube uh, which is guided through the blood vessel starting in the groin and then guided to your child's heart you know and a blocking device is uh, passed through the catheter and placed uh, in that uh, location of uh, pda you know and this device blocks the blood flow 
uh, through the vessels and allows the normal blood flow to return, you know. So that was the minimal invasive procedure, you know, known as gastro-based procedure. Well, the next treatment is a surgical option, you know. Now, if the opening is large or it does not seal on its own, in that case, surgery may be needed, you know, to correct this defect, you know. And this type of treatment is typically only for the children who are six months or older, you know. And the younger infants can have this treatment if they have symptoms. And uh, for the surgical procedure, your doctor may prescribe the antibiotics to prevent the bacterial infection after uh, leaving the hospital, you know. So these are the treatment options. Uh, the next thing is, what are the com possible complications, you know? Well, you know, most cases uh, are diagnosed and uh, they are treated soon after the birth, you know. And it's very unusual uh, for this condition to go undetected into adulthood, you know. Uh, if it does and uh, it goes untreated, you know, or undetected, you know, uh, it can cause several problems. And the larger the opening is, the worse the complications are, you know. And uh, it's rare, uh, but uh, untreated condition can lead to other medical conditions uh, in adults such as uh, shortness of breath, uh, palpitations, uh, pulmonary hypertension, hypertension, you know, or blood pressure in the lungs, you know, high blood pressure in the lungs, you know. Uh, and uh, this high pulmonary hypertension can damage the lungs, you know. Uh, another complication or possible complication is endocarditis, uh, which is simply known as the inflammation of the lining of the heart uh, due to bacterial infection, you know. And in very serious cases of uh, untreated uh, adult uh, with the patient doctor's uh, addresses, you know, the extra blood flow can eventually increase the size of the heart uh, which weakens the muscles and the ability of the muscles to pump the blood effectively you know. so this can lead to congestive heart failure or maybe death you know so these are the possible complications now next thing is about the prognosis you know or the outlook you know it's good uh, when it's detected and treated early, you know. And the recovery for the premature babies will depend on how early the baby was born and whether or not uh, the other illnesses are present, you know. So the most infants will make complete recovery without experiencing any PDA-related complications. So generally, the prognosis is very good. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to like, subscribe and share these videos to support this channel. Thank you very much. Goodbye.